First of all, uh, gentlemen friars, gentlemen of the dais, and I'm sorry, Flip, about the seating arrangement. Originally, they wanted you in the hall with a broom. <laughs> I do want to thank Buddy and the friars for giving me my 10th portable TV set. <laughs> All of which, as soon as you plug them in, they blow out. <laughs> so uh, to clear it right up now, it was a definitely a cheap gift, <laughs> which I won't forget. <laughs> it's wonderful of Cab Calloway to come. I know your busy schedule, sitting on top of the Ziegfeld Theater trying to pick off Pearl Bailey. I kid, Cav. He's not really a Negro. He's a mulatto. He thinks that's better. <laughs> anyway, gang. Uh... <laughs> Look at the way the color kid is. He's right. Them mother mulattoes are trouble. <laughs> I want to thank uh, my great friend, Ed Sullivan, as Jackie Leonard made reference about you passing away and so forth. Ed, I say from the bottom of my heart, really, you're not a well person. <laughs> you need care and help. You dribble all over yourself. You wet your pants. Don't you think it's time for a checkup, Ed? How long can you walk around the street touching yourself and think this is normal, Ed? Man has one daughter, God bless her. Could have had a lot of children, but he has a cough that screws it right up. <laughs> Spinning and hacking his way to fame. Let me put it to you another way, Ed. You're a pain in the ass. Were you ever a Jap? He's a nice guy, Ed. I spent about uh, two solid weeks with Ed in Las Vegas planning activities, sitting in the pool watching the ducks sink. One night we got him abroad, remember? Sylvia said it was okay. Right? <laughs> then we all came in the room with the baby brownie. You sat on the floor and went, attack me, attack me. <laughs> you gotta be a leopard, I wanna sleep with him. <laughs> I'd like to thank Johnny Carson for his busy schedule, one of our great Gentiles. And even though I'm a Jew and you're a Gentile, Johnny, I say this, his mother and dad are not here, they're not in New York either on a little farm outside of Nebraska with a dump truck without a dime. <laughs> Sitting there with torn underwear going, Ah, Jen is rich. Ah, Jen is rich. <laughs> I'll tell you how classy he is. He takes a leak on his brother. <laughs> now that's class. Dick likes it. <laughs> he said Dick likes it. <laughs> Flip Wilson, you're a wonderful man. We kid about the Negro. That's my whole humor in my act. You know, Negro, I'm a Jew. Does it matter what you are? You bet your ass it matters. <laughs> you were white, you'd be over here next to Ed Sullivan instead of, <laughs> instead of on the end watching the flies hit the Puerto Rican serving tray. I've had a lot of great afternoons in my career, and I will say very honestly, this will not go into the scrapbook. <laughs> boring, boring, dull afternoon, really. Ed, your speech was great. He was shaking all over, and he doesn't make too many speeches. Thank you. And the gentleman behind you, thank him for sitting up there and taking up room. I don't know who that is, but he just kept leaning over and blowing in his ear, and Ed kept saying, hey, more, more. Maybe you'll get my arms to move. <laughs> horny Ed, horny Ed. And of course, William B. Williams, once again, you made a fool of yourself. <laughs> Steve Lawrence is William B. Williams' whole life. That's what he wants Steve to do. Throw up on me, Steve. Make me a star. <laughs> of course, Jackie Vernon, I spoke to God, and they will have clay in Friday to fix your face. <laughs> The 
last time he laughed is when his own family passed away. But you're all right, Jack. Good luck to you. Really. I do want to say to Norm Crosby, I spoke to a lot of clinics, and if you do hear, you're liable to give up the business. So it's good with the gimmick in the air. It gives you a mercy job, one of those real mercy jobs, like Tiny Tim, who's not going to applaud him with the limp and the dragging and the thing. Death, good gimmick, death. If they catch on to that, they got you blind. You come out with a cane and do songs. Some people say, how can you be cruel about these things? I laugh at life. I say to God, I don't give a damn because God put us on the earth to laugh. Right, God? <laughs> if that ain't a stroke, a couple of color guys are going to hire a white man. And to all of us, my Negro friend, my kid cat, but I know him a lot of years. Flip, it was sweet of you to come over here at the last minute, not even knowing who it was for. And to... I'll make you feel at home, Flip. All aboard! Put on a couple of those stockings. Yeah. yeah, you got it, man. Put your ass. Ah. No kidding. <laughs> Could have fooled me. Well, somebody kick Ed in the ass, he's dozing off. Ed keeps looking up like we're going to put a hook in his lip and we're going to be a salmon. <laughs> When I first met Oa Ed, right? Looks like a Jewish pup, a little cord on the tuchus, and you pull it and you walk around. Hit the target and win a cookie. But I would like to say it's sweet of my cousin, Dr. Griboff, and the rest of my family, Jerry Rickles and Jerry Bronstein, who are in the back, in the toilet, right next to the Puerto Ricans' quarters, Wayne and Schuster, who I don't know, and seven other fat guys right in the front. I think the seating arrangement was embarrassing. So my manager, Joe Scandori, Joe, I say this publicly, as of today, I found out how big I am. You and I are no longer together. <laughs> you have screwed me enough, Joe. I never liked the Italians. What do you think of that? And what are you going to do without the Jews and the Negroes? No rhythm of money. <laughs> but we need the Italians. For what? Oh, yeah, ISIS. Anyway... <laughs> Johnny's laughing and uh, William B. Williams the Jew took his wallet I'll tell you this gang and you still got that Chester Morris job but anyway I owe a great deal to Johnny Carson for giving me an opportunity on nighttime television I'm forever grateful for that really I mean that I owe nothing to Ed Sullivan except he's been annoying trying to hang out with me I was supposed to be on his show unfortunately my bear died once I did the balancing of the dog any guy that talks to a little tojo the mouse needs help Ed I'll tell you that right now some shock treatments anyway it's been an exciting afternoon for me I'm gonna rush right back to the hotel and try to explain this to my wife who well if you knew her you'd understand she's the type on the wedding night looked at me and went eh, is that about it so uh <laughs> you know what I'm up against but I certainly want to thank you I know Johnny you have a show tonight <laughs> why anyway gang Johnny is on what's the movie must be a good movie on Lyle Talbot and I'll suck a werewolf anyway gang <laughs> so watch Johnny Carson's show watch Jackie Leonard at the Copacabana running around the lobby going no, not it. anyway gang uh, Jack, they make many jokes about me with you and so forth, but I say this publicly and from my heart. I will always respect you and always be proud that your humor was uh, a great deal of help to me. And we make jokes about you being me and what have you and or I trying to be you. But we are two individuals and I'm very proud to call you friend. And you were a tremendous host today and it made me feel warm and good inside. Jackie Lynn. To all of you gentlemen, I have never been so on it. I am deeply thrilled. On behalf of my wife, Barbara, my little girl, Mindy Beth, God bless her, who is 19 months old, 
I say thank you for making me here. I say thank you for making me feel important. And my one wish in life, I wish my father were here with me now to see it. Bless you. Thank you.